Okay, so I'm gonna really quickly go over style sheets. Um, they're so powerful. If you don't use them, you need to start using them. Um, if they're they're pretty easy to use, it could be easier to use, but either way, it's very powerful, and you need to use them. Um, let's say that you're building, and you have a stone, and it could be even a stone that's up in high up in a range. You need the head, so you go to your head builder. So I'm gonna just do head builder. It's probably gonna be yeah, one that I might have used or the default. I'm gonna bring this out here. Now, as you can see, you're able to change and adapt this head any way you want. You can change the an amount of rails no rails, one rail, you can go to your different levels. Okay, this is just a head builder. Um, so you got these different ways of doing it. And once you're happy and satisfied, you click on styles and just save. And you can choose to name it and that'll give you all the different ones that you named that you can come back to and reload. If you start naming them one, two, three, four, then this is where they go. One, two, three, four, five. Um, right here, it's one, two, three, four, five. And the basically, there's no icons normally. And that is very difficult to remember when you're using the head builder or the different other style sheets. Um, so basically if you could have an icon it would be much better. These are different than your normal ones because I, there is a way to do that and to change them and save your own style sheets according to each button like I've done here. But it's a lot of work. Um, so this part was a little easier to do, then you can remember that um, just because it has the icon. Be much easier to use. But for now, you just push go. Um, if you want your different styles that you save, you just click on them and they just appear. Okay, depending on what you're wanting to do got your ones and twos so um, that's basically it for style sheets you know you pull it out um, push go push enter and then if you had another stone that you're working with um, you can also do the match attribute feature um, choose head and then there you go. Um, it's the same thing. I'll do a few different examples. You got this. We'll do gem on curve. For now, we'll just have them facing down. I'm going to push enter and I'll throw one over here. Also, just for now, just be down. Usually, if it's on a surface, you can have it choose it to follow the surface. Um, so we've got two, one that's flat, one that's a little more curved. Um, you can ungroup those. Sometimes what I like to do is take and do the head builder and choose the style and that, push go. And from here you can adapt it. Right now it's kind of facing the wrong way. So you can adjust it. I might have it like that, let's say. If I'm happy. Push enter. I can take all the rest of them. Push F6. Try 
again f6 match attribute to that one head go okay now you can see that it's easy to have four prongs for stone like that um, if you need to adjust them you basically just have to select them all delete them re-enter the head builder make your adjustments and then you just have to reapply them um, that's one way to use them another way is to we're going to delete those we're just going to do the prong shared prongs got those let's just say you like it or not you can go back in and you have different styles see this is what I'm talking about you have theirs maybe you don't want them it'd be nice to have your own icon with your own style sheet there which you can do like I did on the other one but it's harder if not for now you can just hit load every time and load the ones that you've saved um, and just push go and it'll load it up let's say that you're happy these prongs are a little small and not whatnot but for this example we'll just go match attribute to that we're gonna do prongs and boom they pop up so between match attribute and style sheets there's a lot of power and there's a lot of different tools and builders that have them um, and it's just great um, I hope you find this useful um, and see that the power of style sheets in your work um, it'll save you lots of time you know it just would be nice if you were able to change out the icons and put your personal ones in there it would be excellent um, but other than that they're still usable and still work great and that's about it hope you enjoyed this little video about style sheets